Hey everyone, welcome to Living in Ottawa. And in this week's episode, we're gonna cover the Canadian real estate markets that are considered bubble markets. But first, show reel, hit it. No one wants to hear the term housing bubble. It has an ominous feel. And ever since the global financial crisis in 2008, housing bubble has become synonymous with economic ruin. But is a housing bubble a warning of an economy on the brink? Not really. The term refers to a rapid increase in home prices not driven by the usual organic factors such as high employment and low interest rates. A good example of non-organic factor is investors scooping up properties with the intention of selling them for profit when the market peaks. And if those properties all flood the market at once, a housing bubble could burst. A bubble that bursts can send home prices spiraling down and leave homeowners with a want to sell their large mortgages on overpriced houses. Home supply can outpace demand and results in homeowners unable to recoup their investment. It isn't hard to understand why there is a fear that the Canadian real estate market is in a housing bubble. Demand for homes during the pandemic has driven prices skyward in almost every market across the country. And the demand has been so great that cities across the nation have homes that are overvalued and in some areas over 90%. Though the pandemic buying surge highlighted such overvaluing, Canadian real estate has been headed in this direction for years. Over the last 20 years, Home prices in Canada have increased by a whopping 375%. While the rate of increase in the past two years has been surprising, the trend is already there. A recent report from Swiss Financial Institutions, UBS, puts two major Canadian cities in housing bubbles, Toronto and Vancouver. The recent surge in prices on top of previous growth leads UBS economists to warn that these two cities are sitting on an overpriced market. It is unlikely that residents or home buyers moving to Canada are terribly surprised by that assessment. Housing prices in these larger metropolitan areas have been high and rising for years. But UBS is not the only group pointing to potential bubbles in the Canadian real estate market. A recent report from Moody's Analytics highlighted areas with substantially overvalued home prices. The top five markets are all in Ontario. They range from London at 61.77% to Niagara St. Catharines at 90.8% and Toronto's market was noted as being overvalued at 39.53%. And of course, there's also Vancouver by 22.95%. There are some encouraging signs that the housing market is beginning to moderate. Reports indicated that prices did not increase month over month in October of 2021. And for the first time since the beginning of the pandemic buying surge, prices remained steady. November 2021 saw a 0.6% increase in prices month over month, but a 0.7% decrease from the previous year. The moderation is likely the result of weary home buyers and the increased mortgage stress test. Now, mortgage stress test limits the amount of money a home buyer can borrow. It was designed to help homeowners be financially resilient by limiting their potential debt. And an increased stress test can sideline home buyers. Combined with two years of major price increases, it's enough to shift the market towards moderation. So what can people expect moving to Ottawa when the national market is leveling? As one of the most popular destinations for people moving to Canada in interprovincial migration, the Ottawa area still has eager home buyers. And the Ottawa real estate market, however, is stressed by low supply of available homes. In October 2021, there were 1,677 homes sold in Ottawa. While a slight increase from September, this number represented a massive decrease of 21% from October of 2020. And this is one indication that the market moderation is seen at a national level. The October 2021 home sales are in line with the five-year national average, and prices through 2021 continue to reflect the tight housing supply. Ottawa real estate saw a year-to-date price increase in October of 2021 of 24% for detached homes and 16% for condos compared to 2020. 
But October also saw an average condo price of 404760 a lower 10% increase from October of 2020. This may be the first sign of prices starting to moderate for people moving to Ottawa. What do these trends and figures mean for home buyers and sellers in Ottawa in 2022? While there are positive indications for an easing market for buyers across the nation, Ottawa remains a very difficult market due to the low supply. Of particular concern is the lack of adequate supply of properties for first-time home buyers. It is these buyers who fuel the rest of the market, allowing others to buy up or to downsize. And there's not enough inventory for them to find a home, prices will continue to rise and movement in the market will remain difficult. Living in Ottawa comes with a lot of benefits, but an abundant supply of affordable homes is not currently among them. As we move into 2022, you'll need to see more properties moving into the Ottawa real estate market through new construction and more sellers. And the national decrease in pandemic-driven demand could have positive results for people moving to Ottawa. And the increased mortgage stress test and rumored interest rate hikes could also ease demand enough to give Ottawa market a little breathing room. So what do we make of the housing bubbles in Canada and in Ottawa in 2022? The decades long issue of low supply makes it difficult to fit Canadian real estate into many areas into the traditional definition of a housing bubble. High prices are mainly organic, driven by demand, low interest rates, and low inventory. The way to moderate prices and ease off the solidly built bubble is to get more affordable housing units onto the market. Decreasing immediate demand through higher interest rates and mortgage stress tests may allow new construction and eager sellers to help improve the supply for first-time home buyers. And that in turn will keep the market moving to continued strong growth without pricing first-time home buyers out of the market. As the world edges off the pandemic precipice, we will hopefully see housing prices moderate. Housing bubbles aren't necessarily an indication of global doom, but Canadian real estate will breathe a big sigh of relief when fewer of its homes are massively overvalued. So there you guys have it. Real estate bubbles in the Canadian real estate market. If you're thinking about making a move, feel free to reach out to us. Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, even wrap it up in a bow and send it first class because we got your back. We're moving to Ottawa or anywhere across Canada. And each and every week, we're bringing brand new videos just like this one. So make sure to tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time we do a brand new video. Till next time, take care. Ever since the global financial crisis in 2008, housing bubble, bubble, housing bible, bible, <laughs> bubble, whoopsies. No one wants to hear the term housing bubble, nor do I, I, because I can't even say it, has become synonymous with the economic ruin. But it is, mm, a good example of a non-organic, but first, showreel, mess that up.